Hello and welcome to another episode of Ask the Experts. I'm Rachel Landry and today I'm joined by my colleague Gus Cook, an application specialist here at the company. Today Gus is going to be talking to us about REMs or relative elevation models. All right Gus, take it away. Hi, I'm Gus and today I'm going to talk about a new feature in Global Mapper version 24.1, the relative elevation model. A relative elevation model is a specific type of digital elevation model designed to visualize and discern patterns and variations of a fluvial system um, at a highly localized level. And this is something that a traditional DEM doesn't do quite as well. It does this by making the height of the of this particular stream or river uh, feature delineated by a line feature um, the zero of the elevation scale of the elevation model. Um, thus, all the elevations are relative to that particular feature. It also eliminates the higher values uh, within the DEM to uh, focus on variation at a more local level, a smaller scale. So in order to do this, you're going to need a digital elevation model, a DEM, and a line feature that delineates the center path of a stream or river. So we can see here that I have my stream line selected, the digitizer, and we can go ahead up to the analysis menu and we are going to select create relative elevation grid. And we can keep all of these pretty much in their default state. We can see here that the grid spacing is inherited from our DEM that we're using. And I'm going to select OK. And we can run feature. You can see immediately that a lot of that local variation is a lot more easily highlighted and is more distinct in comparison to the original DEM. For one final step here, I have um, a little use case, just an example of what you could do with this output. So what I have done is I have used the vectorize raster function in Global Mapper and I have extracted the basic um, range that is close to the zero value of the center of the river to kind of give a rough estimate of a flood zone. And then I have taken this parcel map and I have run a spatial operation in an intercept uh, predicate and the output of that delineates parcels that fall within this rough flood estimate zone. Gus, thank you so much for sharing that information with us. I know that our users will find it very useful in their day-to-day -day workflows. To learn more about Global Mapper, please visit bluemarblegeo.com today. And as always, thank you so much for joining us for this episode of Ask the Experts, and we hope to see you next time.